In this video, we're going to apply Newton's laws of motion to an elevator ride. Let's start with the elevator moving up from the ground floor. When this occurs, you feel heavy. According to Newton's second law, the net force on the rider is in the direction of his acceleration. This tells us that the normal force of the floor on the rider is larger than the person's weight. Let's say that the acceleration is given and that we want to find the normal force. Here's Newton's second law with an upward acceleration. Upward is the positive direction. The weight comes into the equation with a negative sign, minus mg, to indicate that its direction is opposite to the direction of acceleration. The value of g, gravitational acceleration, is positive 9.8 meters per second squared. If we used a negative value for g, that would reverse the direction of the weight in the equation. The last equation shows that the normal force is larger than the weight. When the person feels heavy, he senses an increased pressure on his feet, which he interprets as a larger force downwards. But in fact, it's caused by a larger normal force upwards. This feeling of being heavy when the normal force is larger than your weight applies any time you have an upward acceleration, whether you're moving upward from a lower floor and speeding up, or moving downward from a higher floor and slowing down. Now let's think about traveling at constant velocity between floors. Whether you're moving up or down, you feel the way you normally do. Newton's first law applies here. The forces on you are balanced because you're traveling with constant velocity, so the normal force on you is equal to your weight. When you are at rest or moving with constant velocity, Newton's first law applies, and the normal force supporting you is equal to your weight. We're not usually aware of this unless it changes. When you accelerate downward, you feel light. Newton's second law says that the net force must be downward in the direction of the acceleration, so your normal force must be less than your weight. Here's Newton's second law with a downward acceleration. The weight is in the direction of the acceleration, so it's positive. The normal force is in the opposite direction as the acceleration, so it's negative. The normal force is less than the weight. You'll feel light whenever you accelerate downward. There is less pressure on your feet because the normal force is smaller than your weight. If the elevator cable is cut, both you and the elevator fall toward the earth with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. You feel weightless because you sense no pressure on your feet. The normal force on you is zero, and only the gravitational force of the earth acts on you, causing you to accelerate toward it. Your true weight is the force of the earth pulling down on you. This does not change. Your sensation of having no normal force is called apparent weightlessness.